So here we are in Brisbane at the South Rugby Club and the Crusaders from New Zealand are training in the background, getting ready for the Brisbane Global Tens on the weekend. Come with me, we'll meet a few of the players. Somebody save your soul cause you've been sinning in the city I know too many troubles, all these lovers got you losing control You like a drug to me, a luxury, my sugar and So here with Israel Dag over for the Crusaders and uh, Izzy, your ambassador for the Global Rugby Tens. Uh, what do you expect this weekend? I expect some razzle. There's yeah. some, uh, some talented boys out there and a uh, few young guys that have been given an opportunity to, you know, stamp their mark and what better place to do it on Brizzy and on a hot day. So, Razor, what's it like being over here in Brisbane training, whereas back in Christchurch probably is about minus two degrees at the moment? Yeah, yeah we just had a bit of snow mid-summer, which is normal. Oh, look, we, you know, we're getting in the 20s, this heat wave over there, just like your mid-30s, really. Uh, look, we're, we're pleased to be here, you know, South Rugby is a good crew. Kiwis yeah. coming out everywhere yeah. as they do. Did you choose the South Rugby Club because they're probably the most successful and my old club yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Queensland, whereas the Crusaders are like that for the Super Rugby? Exactly, you know, they, it's exactly well, like just a little plug for yourself. Obviously, you, had, you and Jason Little held this club up for many years. How's the heat handled you today? Your first day in Australia, it's supposed to be about 35 on Saturday, 37 on Sunday. Oh, actually, yeah, well, definitely wouldn't say we'd be looking forward to the weather, but, you know, we're looking uh, forward to the, to the tournament, but um, yeah, it has been pretty hot. There's a, a few rays behind that sun, so uh, yeah, we just gotta gotta keep hydrated. Did you come here on the bus this afternoon? Did anyone scan the club for any bugs that might have been lying around anywhere? Do you know what? As soon as we walked into the toilet, everyone was like, "Where's the snakes? Where's the spiders?" Before we walk out, we, we don't even know if they're here, but Jesus, not not, not the creepy bugs, the other bugs that the All Blacks have been looking at. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, true, those ones. <laughs> what about uh, Digby Yuani? How's he settled in? He's been oh, to mate. France, and he's been to Japan, now he's over the Crusaders. Yeah, he's been amazing. Like, he's got so much experience. I've played Digby plenty of times and yeah for the young guys they can you know have a chat to him but he's just fitted in like he's been here for a mm. while and um you know obviously he's from brisbane so tonight he's taking the boys to a few of his favorite restaurants right. so it's gonna be good i suppose for all the other clubs that are training in grounds like this this afternoon it spreads the uh, the rugby atmosphere around the club ground yeah hopefully it's uh you know it's um tens will, will invite kids to, to, to pick up a rugby ball and you know uh, lift up the, the rugby in, in Australia and uh, you know with this tens tournament I think it's it's, it's, it's awesome um, you know inviting uh, teams like Samoa and you've got a French team too long coming along and also over in Japan and just you know it's just opening uh, doors doorways into rugby so it's uh, I reckon it's an exciting uh, uh, thing and I hope it continues on. Jordan all the best this weekend I'll see you on Saturday about one o'clock with some zinc cream just for this heat that's going to come this weekend. Cheers, mate. Thank Brilliant. you. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you very much. Cheers.